I know I sound like I'm nagging you, but I really do think that you should go lie down and get some rest. You're trying to get rid of me. No, I'm, I'm trying to be a good husband to my pregnant wife and get her to follow doctor's orders. Well, you know, what your pregnant wife would really like is to know that you're not putting her to bed so you could go back to that dig site and dig some more. No, I'm not. Did talking to the therapist help? Yeah. Of course. I'm, uh... Yeah, I feel better. I schedule another appointment as soon as I get some space. Well, you know, in the meantime, how about we do some hands-on therapy ourselves? Something like this. <laughs> yeah. How about we spend some time taking a look at our baby? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, pretty soon, we will know if she is really a she. But you know, boy or girl, I think our baby is beautiful. Not as beautiful as what I'm looking at now. You know, I, uh... You know, you've had a really tough time lately. And whatever has happened on the site isn't really your fault. I really need you to look ahead now. Because this, our baby, that's what counts. You know, I think I'm going to take your advice and go upstairs and take a little nap. Do you care to make it a family affair? I'll be up in a little while. touching, Paul. I had to fight back the tears. You've never shed a genuine tear in your life. It's no time for emotion. Time to be practical. That one gold bar is not going to hold off your loan shark for very long. Hmm? An image of my grandmother. I'll tell you what happened. Somebody left this huge hole uncovered and our son is at the bottom of this pit. What happens to him? Don't say that. Don't you ever say that. I'm so sorry. We'll do everything we can and I'm sure I'm sure Ethan will be fine. Do me a favor, will you call Meg? Let her know what happened. I just wish there was a way that we could get him his blanket. Maybe then he wouldn't be so scared. Hey. Hi. I woke up and you weren't there. I thought you were going to join us. Please tell me you didn't go to the work site. I did. Paul, why? You hey, said you wouldn't do stop. that, didn't you? No, before you get upset, there's been an accident. Ethan's in trouble. Is he badly hurt? He fell down a pit, and it's really deep. EMS is there. They're trying to get him out. Oh, my God, he must be so terrified. And Holden and Lily. Oh, my God, they must be going through hell. I, I need to get out there. I didn't... Man. Uh, it's my family. I need to go. No, your unborn child is your family. You need to get some rest. You need to avoid stressful I, I, situations. No, no, no. Sitting here waiting for news is going to be a lot more stressful than me being out there seeing things happen. I need to go, Paul. So you could either drive me or I'll go by myself. You're going to need a little jacket. Thank you. I don't see you digging, Paul. Yeah, it's because of your stupid digging. Looking for your stupid pot of gold, some kid fell down a pit. And if anything happens to him, God forbid anything happened to him, it's on me. It's my fault. Well, sitting around moping isn't going to help anyone. I'm done. Your little treasure hunt is over. I 
cannot believe that I have a son that's such a coward. Stop whining, Paul. Do something. Take some action for once. Act like a man. So if I show any kind of compassion, I show any kind of remorse, and I'm a coward in your eyes. The shoe fits. Hey, hey. I'm done. No, 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 you're not done. Because if you don't get out there and keep digging, that lone shark friend of yours is going to cost you infinitely more money than my plan will, and you will lose both people that make your life worth living. No. I'll never lose, Meg. Well, then why don't you fight for her? Destroy any evidence that puts you anywhere near that site. Deny any accusations. Fabricate a story. Cover your tracks. Come on. That's my boy. Don't you ever call me that again. By not saying the words doesn't make it shut less true. true. Just shut up. Shut up. Oh. What's wrong? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to him. There's no one there, Paul. Of course not. Then why? <laughs> I'm just trying to work some stuff out, and I got carried away. Okay. It's no big deal. Let's go. Come on. It is possible that the excavation may have caused some sort of a sinkhole effect. Was it something in particular that set it off? Mike, was this just a tragic accident or did something set it off? How are things going? It's, did you come back here? Yeah. Well, I'm standing right in front of you. Yeah, so yeah, Paul, came back here. Don't get cute with me. Did you come back here and keep digging after I told you to stop digging? I don't know what you're talking about. Ethan fell down that hole. And it's your fault, isn't it? Where are these accusations coming from? Well, it's pretty obvious to me where they're coming from. Mike's been in charge of this whole work site since day one. As soon as there's an accident, he's trying to shift all of the blame off of himself and put it on me. Whoa, no. Paul was out here digging with a backhoe without clearance or authorization, and that is what created the sinkhole. Why would Paul start digging on his own? I don't know. I don't know why Paul does half the stuff he does. Let's just get Ethan out of the hole, okay? And then we'll have a full investigation. We'll figure out what really happened. Can you tell us what's going on? I think Mike can answer that question better than I can. <sighs> I, you know, I mean, there, there's just a lot of unknowns. Uh, we, we, we don't know how deep the hole is, but we need to uh, form the rigging so that we can add extensions if we need to. Okay, and then you'll be able to get Ethan out, right? Yes, we, we will get Ethan out, but we need to plan for as many contingencies as possible because we don't know what we're going to run into down there. I can only imagine. Hey, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to help. Okay, but please don't tire yourself out. I am not leaving until they get Ethan out of there. Let's hope they do that soon. They will get to him, no matter what they have to do. This is a bad idea, Holden. We need to send someone down there with experience. Experience? What kind of experience do you have being lowered into a pit on a rope? If, if, if this is some kind of competition for Lily, this isn't personal. No, it's my son down there. It doesn't get any more personal. If anybody's that. going down that hole, it's me. This project is my responsibility. Oh, 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 wait a minute. What are you talking about, Paul? You can't go down there. You are not going anywhere near that That's hole. Right. You're not going down there because I am. Stop it. Please, please, stop it. None of this is helping Ethan. If Holden wants to, I think he should. It's his son down there. He'll do the best he can and... After that, all we can do is, is pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in presence of mine enemies. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. On the next, as the world turns.
Who are you really blaming here? Yourself or Paul? Paul! You really want me to do what we discussed? It's time Paul learned how to function in the real world. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Are you Hold all right? It. 